tango dancer. Are you looking to expand the vocabulary of your tango terms? If yes, this video is for you. We are teaching you a very cool tango rido movement, a tango turn with a sacada and an embosque. It's very fun. It's a fun challenge and it requires a lot of connection between the leader and the follower. So for all the sacada lovers, we know that the many leaders like to do sacadas and like also adding more more playfulness in the hero to have more vocabulary. So we are going to do a, a, a hero with a sacada and also we are going to add an enrosque, which is an acceleration that produces the leader uh, by twisting the body, create, creating a spiral so that it changes the dynamics and it makes the, the hero more interesting. First, we show you the movement. So what we are doing here is that we begin with the apertura, with the side step, and I'm going to step in parallel system one step forward. So with my right leg, I go, I go outside of her. Here is the moment that we are going to open the embrace because we are going to begin with the hero. So back, side, forward, and in the forward ocho, I'm going to open my left shoulder blade to invite her to, uh, to go forward, and then I'm going to do the sacada. So I go to do the sacada with my left foot and I find the contact with her leg. I take the space and as soon as I take the space, I'm going to go to my axis and to do the enrosque. So I'm going to cross, I'm going to cross my leg and then I'm going to accelerate with the hips. So the, I'm going to produce the, the pivot be, uh, from the impulse of my, of my free leg. In this case, it's my right leg. So it's my right leg and shh. Yeah, so at the same moment I keep opening and then I'm going to pivot and then step back. So basically here when I do the impulse with my right leg, I, I do the impulse and I invite her to do a side step. So it's foot pivot and then the side step and I change my weight and then I go back and then we finish together. We show you from another angle. So side, outside, side, forward, sacada, and here we do the enrosque. I change my weight and I go back when she's doing the side step. And then from here I hold with embrace and then we finish together. Followers, I want you to think about four things. First, to be very grounded and on your axis. Secondly, to take big steps so that you are creating space for the sacada of the leader. Number three, add fluidity to your movement. And number four, make sure that you are in tune with the speed, the dynamics of your leader. So here are our steps. We take a side step with them and then we go back. Side, this, this is a slightly diagonal step, right? side and then we go forward and here we take a big forward step so that they have the space to do the sakara always. Then we pivot and this is a moment where you might lose your axis so you want to really stay balanced, stay balanced, pivot, wait for them, take a side step with them and then collect and go forward, go back into the embrace with the leader. So in terms of the steps, we don't have a lot of steps. In terms of the axis, if we don't take a big enough step, if we lose our balance, if we anticipate and go too fast, our leader is not going to be able to do the sacada or the enrosque. So it is very important that we are in tune with our partner. Now we show you in the tango embrace. So here we are beginning with the close embrace. We open the embrace for the sacada. And in the very end, after the second sacada, we go back into the apilado embrace. We go more leaning forward, yeah? So in this way, we are playing with the three different embraces. So close, open, open, open. And now you see my hand is going around and I start closing the embrace. So when I go on the other side, I am already inviting her to, to go forward 
and we finish in this uh, apilado position. It's very important that your embrace is very present. You are not going to be able to do this movement or any type of uh, circular movement if you do not have presence in the embrace. We do not mean to put tension, but sometimes we see tango embraces that are floppy here, and there is no um, exchange of energy in the embrace between the leader and the follower. So I use the muscles of my, my back to hold my arms, and I think that like my hands want to go towards my partner, like in a round way, like they have, like it's they, are, they have magnets and they want to meet, but my leader is in the center, so I'm really present here. I do not let this happen, and of course, I'm not adding tension, but I'm very present. Otherwise, the movement is not going to work. So the embrace uh, for the leader is very intentional because at the moment of the enrosque, when you are doing this acceleration with the lower part of the body, with the with the upper part of the body, you need to keep quite still the embrace in a way that she doesn't go, yeah? So you are kind of holding her in that position. You are telling her, okay, you wait, you wait there, and then when you do the sacada, you find, you find the leg of the follower, yeah? So that way you have to, you are holding with embrace, so you are doing something with your upper body, and with your lower body, you are doing something else because you, we are creating an acceleration with the enrosque. So now we show you with tango music. If you are looking for more fun steps for your social dancing, we have a special free mini course for you with 10 super fun steps that you can use in the milonga, so in social dancing, especially when the dance floor is crowded. These are the steps that we use all the time when we dance socially and it's a busy milonga, so they are super useful steps. We will put the link for you to sign up for the mini course in the comments below. And if you are a leader that you are uh, starting to incorporate these type of moments into your dancing, like hero with sacadas and this kind of stuff, it's important that you understand that these kind of steps are steps that is kind of the main dish, no? It's something that is big, it's heavy. You don't want to start dancing and doing this straight away. It's something that you will do with the music, when the music, you know, in a progressive way, you know, is proposing to do something faster or something uh, more, intense. more, more intense, more, um, uh, yes, with, adding with the music, no? So uh, that's why these steps are beautiful. It's, it's challenging, you know, require a lot of connection with the partner and, and, and technique as well, because you need to know the technique for the hero, for the enrosque, 
However, but it's something that you will go, you will add in the dance, not all the time. No, it's something that you will add, you know, at some stage of the of the dance, uh, and after that, you know, you will carry on, you know, with the more um, uh, useful steps, no, like the walk and, and other steps. So, uh, just for you to know that we we encourage you to learn these steps. It's, it's great to know and you have the technique, but you are not going to use all the time in the dance. Absolutely. Now we really hope that you like this video. Please let us know if, if that's the case in the comments below. Also, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a tango friend and especially. Please keep learning and keep sharing your dancing because the world of tango needs your embrace. Absolutely. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Ciao. Bye.